So now we've taken the wheels off, we we'll jack the car up first of course. Um, we need to take off the caliper and the disc. Um, ideally you would, uh, you would use a CR slash V, um, it's kind of chrome vanadium, but um, T27 uh, Torx bit, so like that. Um, in here, on the star, it's here, and then you would just undo it. These are actually quite really stuck in there, so I'm going to have to drill them out, which is a bit annoying, but it, you know, that happens with old cars. Um, then, ideally, you would come in here, and as I did the other side, you, you would uh, get your um, 14 mil down to there, and then you'd undo it. Um, this one again is knackered, and it's it's not coming off. So then your next step is you can come in here. Can you see this up in here? Um, you've got the hard line behind here, and you'll notice it's uh, it's dribbling because I have um, come in here. You have to come around the other side. So yeah, up in here, there's a hard line. There, you go down a bit. Okay, it's a hard line here, and then this is the flexi line it goes into. You can come in with uh, an 11 mil again, um, this one, and you come in just round there, and then you can undo it. Oh, I think I was actually behind here with it like that. Undid it, and then uh, we can get this pipe out. So this this flexi line's all the way out the back, and that means obviously I need new um, brake pipes, but that probably isn't entirely a bad thing. One thing that I've noticed is that this bracket that the uh, hard pipe at the back goes onto the flexi line onto is actually really, really flexible. So it's actually worked quite nicely to be able to um, use this vice grip just to stop the, the hard line um, mounting bracket just flexing like hell. So then we can get the 11 mil in uh, the flare uh, spanner and then we can just undo it and then that's working quite nicely. So now this is obviously out, um, we can just get the flathead screwdriver, pop these two little caps off here, there's one, and there's two down here. Um, this is a really good tool, you can use Allen uh, keys but it's just going to be a pain in the ass. so this is easier, 7mm um, um, on a 3 8 chuck it in here, so it's undo. There we go, there's one, then two, wind these out, using the drip tray now, makes more sense. So yeah, just work these out, quite long bolts. can kind of tilt it to one side and pull it out and then uh, and that should come out like so and just chuck it here for now and then the top one again just you can kind of Tilt it down and so you can so just taking this off we need to um, quickly do that. Take the spring hanger off. That just keeps the pads in place. That's off there, and then this, walk it off. That's the whole thing. You can probably keep that with that. And uh, yeah, that's how that goes. Then we need to uh, take the hanger off. So um, I'll grab a, a, a ratchet for that, and then we're gonna need to drill these two out. So as I was saying before, usually you just have a Torx bit and everything was uh, all nice and that'd be great, but quite often that they, uh, they rust in, so uh, then you have to get a drill. And just go nice and in the center. Get started. on a single hex um, just on the back here you should just be able to 
these, and these are just off the hangers. One here and one here. So we'll just unwind that and take the hanger out. And you can see here I've drilled out the uh, little heads of, that hold the disc on. So now it should be nearly there. So here we have the uh, hub uh, ready to accept the disc. So I'm using um, MTEC brakes for eBay <laughs> and uh, for the 206 GTI 180 um, to go with the calipers. They're 280, 280mm, 283mm. Um, and they are grooved and uh, dimpled so um, we can just get a rag so, uh, this is electric contact cleaner but ISO spray any alcohol spray because when they make these they uh, basically spray stuff so they don't end up getting rusty so what you want to do is just, just wipe that stuff off so like so and then obviously on the other side and then the same again. There we go. And that goes on here like so. Like that. Okay, usually you would have the bolts, but I'm just obviously using those two points. It's hub centric anyway, so it's gonna be in the right place. This is the big reveal now, 206 GTI 180 brakes um, with yellow stuff pads. They've been sent away to a company called Big Red and they specialise in uh, repairing calipers, reconditioning them at least. And uh, so that's what's already happened to these. I bought, this, I bought them like this. But yeah, you can send them away to them and they'll do that. So then what we can do is uh, bolt this back up using this two 17mm So one thing you want to do when building these is to check everything is good where it should be um, This is hopped off here a little bit So this is um, uh, just a 13mm um, socket single hex and you just want to just check that these are all tight and to also check that all the seals are in the right place this seal looks like it's jumped out somewhat. Let's just check the, the seals are all in. You even looking at the cap? Yeah, yeah. Right, just check. So just want to check that the seal's nice and in. So what we can do is we can come in now, slip the, uh, the pads are obviously in where they need to be. Yellow stuff pads, EBC, something like that. Put them in the uh, right place on the hanger. Then grab the 17 mils. First one's in. And there's seven, another 17 mil. It's not 17mm, it's 19mm, I should remember that from before. So yeah, get your two 19mm bolts and then just um, tighten them up. So now I'm going to put in the new uh, flexi line. I could have gone for braided lines, but uh, for now these are like 8 quid each, so whatever. Uh, just chuck them in. So you get a little uh, plug, 
um, if it's just a, you know, it may or may not come up with that for you. Um, and then what you want to do is there's two lines, one, and one which is the male side, and you want to uh, thread that in. Like that. You can just use the, the end of the cable. Can you see that? Yeah. To get that in. It'll get to a certain point, it'll stop. So you're going to get your 14 mil uh, ring, well the, uh, this is the uh, flange type spanner, get that in here and then just snug that down, make sure you don't get any crap in the end of this because obviously you don't want to contaminate your, your line. Don't go mental, but you need to get it tight and to get that back out you can just pull the spring thing down and get it back out. Then this needs to go in here. Can you can you see in here? I'm going. You might be better from this angle. So you see here. Can you see that? It's going here. Goes through the little bracket yeah. to the hard line. If you come this this side now, so you can see what I'm doing. So it should just hard. It goes in like that. Okay. And then all I need to do is grab the. Uh, Hard, the uh, hard line itself and just thread that in. I should just be able to marry these back up together. Okay. In like that. Okay, so now I've, um, I've finished up with the calipers and the disc installed. Obviously, um, if any breaks, make sure you can actually move them by hand first so that you haven't um, either got the wrong pads or you haven't pushed the calipers back in. These are obviously new calipers, so they've always been pushed back 